Okay, I'm going to show you how to mesh fusion uh, two separate objects and we're going to Z remesh this when we're done with the script. So let me show you how this is done. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to hold the control key down and we're going to mask the spot. I'm going to put a ear from one of the brushes and into this area right here. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. And what we need to do is we'll turn on polyframe to see right here. Just see what's going on here. And then we're going to go down here to uh, poly groups. And we're going to go group mass, clear mass. Okay. And there's our area right there. Uh, if we had the geometry, we just want to go ahead and kill this because what will happen, um, we'll get an error. So I just go ahead and make this poly mesh 3D and you can see that. So we're going to select one of the brushes here and it's going to be called the body part here. And we're going to select here. And we're going to press the M on the keyboard, and we're going to bring up, and I'm going to select the ear here. And I'm going to drag out the ear right here, approximately where I want it. And let go. Alright, as you can see, it's mask. We can move this at any time with the uh, transpose tool. I'm just going to leave that alone, and I'm going to, like I'm going to swap and clear mask twice. This is going to fuse it together. All right, uh, you can see the geometry is all a little different here. And I want to take a look at it with the polyframe off, and I'm going to smooth this. I'm going to hold the shift key down, and I'm going to let off the shift key. This is going to, this is what we call smart smoothing. Hold the shift key, drag, let off the shift key. And I'm going to do it once right here. And this is pretty much what I want. Okay, I'm going to use a script in my macro. Um, if you YouTube it, you will be able to find this and you can try this. Reload all macros. And it's called the easy uh, high and low for the zero mesh. I'm going to select here and click it. And we'll click finishes. This is going to give us a higher and lower subdivision. It's going to zero mesh it and it's going to fuse it all together. It's going to look a whole lot neater. Okay, then we're going to have something like this. And we're going to have subdivisions of uh, 1 through 5. There's the lowest. And there's the highest. And you can see right there how neat it looks. 